Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. This is Miss Ming and my channel I do vlog videos, makeup videos, and unboxing videos, and also lifestyle videos and everything I'm passionate about to create a happy, healthy, beautiful lifestyle. If this content interests you, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. Our goal is to get 1,000 subscribers in the family. If you have subscribed, thank you so much for supporting me and let's get started. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna do a unboxing and try on haul. Ta-da, BoxyCharm! This is the December box, BoxyCharm. I'm so excited. They increased the price a little bit. It used to be $21, right now it's $25 but supposedly you are gonna receive better products, more skincare products than makeup products because you only need several items for your makeup, but you can definitely use a lot of skincare because um, we use skincare every single day and it's very important to use skincare, but I don't put on makeup every day. If I just stay at home, I just stay at home. All right, let's unbox this box. Ooh, the box is a little bit bigger than the previous ones. Uh, when it was $21, I believe the box was slightly smaller. So I think, you know, for $4 difference, it's a big change. So I got a little tag. Basically, it tells you the original price and the items in this box. You can also tag them on Instagram. Okay, and I also got this. I well, I was watching some of the YouTube videos, and some people said they use this to clean their makeup brushes. I was like, that sounds like a good idea, but I wonder if it's clean. You know, I don't want to rub my um, eyeshadow brushes here, and then later it was dirty, and you know. So let's see, let's see. And maybe I should wash it or something before using it to clean my makeup brushes. Okay, so the first item. I just have to open this one first. Um, I was I I was not gonna watch like any unboxing videos, the PR videos. If you don't know, okay, so um on the internet or on YouTube, um, sometimes you see people like receive their boxes and doing unboxing and haul and try on, and then you may be wondering why? Why do they get boxes and I don't? So usually if people are on the PR list, they do receive their boxes a little bit earlier than us, but that is okay. So I know that I'm getting this, but if you are on the premium uh, or boxy Lux, I believe that you get a bigger one versus the regular box, you get a smaller one. The first item is the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales Robin Hood Palette. And this one was retailed as $35. Okay, so it looks really, really pretty. It's like a book, um, but do I appreciate the packaging? I, I don't know. This is an eyeshadow palette. It does look like a book. It has like lines right here. So it's like, you know, you're opening a book. But like when I know about this, like when I was watching other like YouTubers unboxing this, I was like, okay, so I have to say no to travel with this. And maybe I can put it in the back as decoration. So I felt like it's more of a decoration item. But if you put it right there as a decoration, you probably won't use it as much. I don't know. So I don't know, it's like $35 for a decoration, but let's try this out. Whoa. Wow, it's so pretty. It is truly, truly so pretty. I know some people get the blue one, I got the green one. I think people do get different color shades, um, even if you receive the same item. I think one of my YouTuber friends got a blue one. I wish I got the blue one, honestly, because like I'm going, on my graduation ceremony and my school color is navy blue so i was hoping that i could get a blue book though so that i can get that navy blue shade but that that that, that is okay this one is pretty i actually like green prettier like i think it goes with the background but i just hope that i have a blue shade. okay because like i was so curious about which shade i could get because some people get like blue some people get pink um so okay so first i'm gonna use the shade Nottingham. Okay, so if you know about me, I've actually never read the story Robin Hood. I don't think I've seen the movie either. I grew up with different culture. So we're going to use this shade right here as a base shade right here. 
But the good thing is, like, even if you don't use the green, like, the shades right there, like, these, like, more of a neutral warm tone shades, I felt like it's going to be really, really, like, everyday, like, suitable. So, the base shade, oh, the base shade is a little bit, like, cool toned. So, I guess it's a cool tone color. It's like, this is a cool tone shade color. Ooh, interesting. I think it's always like very overwhelming when you first open a eyeshadow palette and you don't know how to use them and you don't know like what are the best way to use it and you don't watch any tutorials but we're just gonna wing it today and then we're gonna use this one this like yellow shade and we're gonna put it right here okay so next we're gonna go with, either we can go with Forest, which is a black shade, or we can go with the green. Okay, so just because we're trying, we're gonna go with the green. I can't believe I'm using the green shade. This shade looks really pretty. Whoa! That is pigmented. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is definitely the first time I ever use this type of green and this type of yellow together. But the packaging is actually really lightweighted. It's easier to hold compared to the Tati one. The Tati one, although I love that palette, I love to use it. Sometimes when I feel tired, I just don't want to like, be holding that one. I don't care if it's, you know, paper, cardboard, because I do love, I do enjoy the lightweighted factor of the shadow palette. Okay, so a bit more right here going up. Okay. Okay. Okay, so next, and we're gonna go in with the uh, shimmery shades. Shimmer shades, I think most likely it's better to use like your finger, but sometimes I do like to try it out first with my brush, and then if it doesn't work, I'll go with my fingers. But this one, mm, it's good. You can definitely use, use your brush. Wow, if you want the maximum payoff, look, look how pretty. Whoa, it's glitter. It's actually not just shimmer, it's glitter shades. Wow, that is pretty. <gasps> look at the payoff. Wow. Wow, that is pretty. And then we're gonna go with Green, the Robin Hood, this one. I'm gonna go in. Whoa. This one, oh, is so great. Whoa. We probably need to blend a little bit better. Okay, so. Whew, that was difficult. I think this is the first time I ever used this color. So it kind of looked a little bit weird just because I don't think I got a hang of how to use like this type of color. So definitely, definitely, definitely I need to practice more. But I think overall this, this eyeshadow palette, the quality of the shades are really, really good. The pigmentation is really good. Um, it's very easy to blend. There's no fallout. Um, the colors are a little bit hard to work with if you're like a beginner makeup person like me who just does makeup for everyday fun but not like a professional artist that like do everybody's makeup. So definitely like definitely it's a really good eyeshadow and I do think it can be used for decorative purposes. Actually, I'll just put it right here. But definitely, definitely need some YouTube tutorials to learn how to use this eyeshadow. Okay, next one. This. What is this? This is the Brow Bar Brow Makeover Kit. This one was retailed as $30. $30. It's expensive. My regular brow pencil, I have the one from Benefit. I also have the one from e.l.f. I actually like the one from e.l.f. a lot. So it's like $3. So let's open this brow kit. Ooh, wow. Okay, so let me do the unboxing again so you can experience what I experienced. So first, this is the outside packaging, and then let's see. Wow! That is pretty! Um, I've seen somebody... Um, wow! It's like, it's like 
suddenly I am so overwhelmed. Like I'm like truly, truly overwhelmed by this product because it's so pretty, but I've never used like brow product like this. Okay, so how do I do it? So I open this. Wow, so basically after you open this, you get this little mirror with like brow powder and you have a brow brush and you also have this. What is it? I would say this is a brow gel. Yes, it's, oh, sculpting mascara gel. Mascara gel? Okay, I am so overwhelmed. I've never used product like this, friend, fancy. Ah, and I cannot open this. Okay, never mind. Unboxing failed. Okay, I opened it. Is this mascara? It is mascara! Okay. Okay, so we're gonna use this brow brush just to try a little bit. We're gonna go in with dark brown. And uh, the, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but the brow powder is very, very creamy when I put in the brush. It's very creamy. <gasps> It is pigmented. Maybe I need a bigger mirror. That's what I need. Cause like little small mirror, it's like not helping. Okay, so we're gonna borrow the mirror from the color story. <gasps> I make my brow too dark. Oh no. Oh no. I cannot tell if it's long wearing or not, but like, uh, I didn't know it was so pigmented. It's like so much more pigmented than my like other brow products. So like, why? Why? Why would I do this to myself? Why? <laughs> I just gotta go fix this. Since we have him, might as well try it. So, okay, I'll be back. Alright, so I really think I need to learn some techniques about using this product because I actually think it works really well, but I just felt like I didn't have the proper technique to use the brow powder or brow gel, but I got my cotton swap. So, I'm gonna go in again. The packaging of this is so pretty and it's not heavy at all so we know that it's not like super extra they, but they put like a lot of like effort on the packaging by the way i just want to update you guys the mascara gel in this product did not work for me so i stopped using and it i have like the most difficult brows to do according to a lot of professional talented makeup artist because my brow bones are not symmetrical and when your brow bones are different it's hard to adjust okay next next item we still we still have more items i know like time flies by it's been a while and we have this okay, so this item is from ciate um this is their uh, illuminating blusher blusher this one was priced as $26, $26. Oh. Well, this is really, really pretty. I definitely, definitely think the packaging of this one is really pretty. Look how pretty this is. This product, I don't know what it will look like on my face, but just let's just take a minute to appreciate how pretty it is. Okay, so let's do it. <clears throat> King with a mirror, I like. Ooh. Can you see? It's like really subtle, but you can see it's like the berry color. Ooh. Really, really. I kind of feel like my lip and my face do not go with my eye look because like if I have the blue eyeshadow palette, it will be nicer. Okay. Wow, I love this. I love this. I love this blush. It is so pretty. So pretty. And it goes with my st skin tone, I think. Whoa. I love it. It's like rose berry color. Very, very, very pretty. So this is from Seraphine. Seraphine? Botanicals Daikon Plus Dreams lip exfoliator with radish extract this one was priced as 24 dollars so this is a lip exfoliator i think i'm gonna give this one to brandon he loves lip exfoliator and when i have lipstick so 
Brandon would love this product and it was pretty expensive. Okay, so the next one is the last item. Focus, focus. Okay, so the last item is by Saturday Skin. It's the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. Ooh, it's Saturday Skin. Like, are you confused, guys? Like, the brand names is like so interesting. Saturday Skin, Sunday Riley, like maybe we will have Monday Glow, Wednesday Hump, Friday Happy, I, I don't know. Like. Friday Happy Hour Water Cream. I don't know, like the brand name is very interesting. Okay, so it says dermatology tested, no paraben sulfate, synthetic fragrance and synthetic color. Okay, this is good. I don't want synthetic fragrance or synthetic color. That's good. I'm not a dermatologist, but I know that when you have a long list of ingredients, if you're allergic to one simple ingredient, you may be allergic to the product. So sometimes like it's better when it comes to skincare, less is more. If there are like 10 ingredients and then you're okay with all 10, it's easier. But this one is like, so let's open this. I hope I'm not like um, allergic or whatever, but like sometimes I, my skin gets irritated, um, for fragrance. So, okay. So this one, Ooh, the packaging looks so, so pretty. Like it's like this soft baby pink. So pretty. Okay. Let's open the packaging is pretty lightweighted. I like that. And it has another seal and it looks like this. Ooh, wow. I don't, I don't smell any fragrance. That's good. That's good. Okay, I just used up my Neutrogena gel cream because in the winter I first used a gel cream and then I used my regular moisturizer and it doesn't have fragrance. I don't smell anything. It looks super nice. It's the, in the gel form. It's the water cream. I think this could be my favorite product for the month. I already have faith in it. I am very excited to try this because I just like, like I got a water cream from Sunday Riley from my uh, previous like boxy Lux, And also I later I purchased a Neutrogena water cream, water gel cream, and then that one is gone. So I am actually looking to buy a gel cream at the moment. So this one comes in handy. So thank you BoxyCharm. All right, so this one was priced at $39. Okay, so let's see how much I get in total. Um, we're just gonna do math. I just have to prove that I'm good at math. What can I say? Okay, so in this box, we got a 35, 39, 26, 24, and 30. So basically 24 plus 26 equals 50 plus 30 is 80 plus 35 by plus 39. 39 is like 40. Um, so it's 150. $160. Okay, so this one, so for this month's box, um, I got a total of $160 of products just by paying $25. I know I've seen some other YouTuber friends, um, I saw their videos, they got different skincare product. Um, right now, I think you do get a choice which skincare products you want. Um, I think when I was choosing, I could choose between this water gel cream compared to like some sort of face oil. The face oil is from Elemis and that one is priced as like $60. So that's why some of my friends, they got like a like a total of 190 when I get a total of 160. But the, at the end of the day, I don't use face oil. I have acne prone skin and sometimes different oils, they kind of like, you know, they create problems for my sensitive acne prone skin. So at the end of the day, it's all about what you need. I think uh, all of the products from this box, I can make good use of. Yeah. All right. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing and try on video and my honest review of all of the products. Um, I, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below what you got from BoxyCharm this month. Or if you haven't really tried BoxyCharm, do you want to try it and things like that. Watching, that's it for today. Thumbs up and subscribe, ring the bell, and we will see you in my next video. Bye.